Mayu Deus. It's the anniversary of the Vinegar Revolt. On June 13th, 2013, activists with the Free Pass movement organized a march in Sao Paulo to protest a 20 centavos, or roughly 4 cent, rise in transit fares. These demos had been going on for weeks, but this time the police cracked down hard, firing rubber bullets at bystanders and arresting 60 people for possession of vinegar to protect against tear gas. This heavy-handed repression ignited a massive nationwide revolt against the fare hikes and the daily indignities and lavish corruption of Brazilian capitalism. Rioting swept the country, swelling the movement and drawing more more than 2 million people into the streets. By the end of June, protests had spread to 500 cities. Over 80 highways were blockaded, and the public became enamored with the Black Bloc. The private media sought to blame the violence on an isolated group of anarchist troublemakers, but people weren't having it. Polls showed 89% public support for the rioters. In a sense, the Vinegar Revolt succeeded. Fair hikes were canceled in 100 cities across so-called Brazil, but the country's deep-seated political corruption persisted. Unwilling to address the structural roots of the unrest, many liberal critics blamed the rioters for the political downfall of Dilma Rousseff. While part of the anger despised by the leftist parties were recuperated by the far right, the 2013 riots also fueled protests against the World Cup, the school occupations of 2016, and resistance against President Michel Temir's austerity measures. 